Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 40 highest selling 1987 through 1994 non-Michael Jordan basketball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on November 12th. I wanted to start making a separate Michael Jordan list for this sequence of years back in the summer when a lot of viewers were recommending it in the comments, but in the NBA offseason, there just was not enough volume of other players to make this video possible. Before we get to today's video, the only exception I made is I still featured a few cards with Michael Jordan, only if he was featured with another player on the card. And we'll kick today's list off at number 40 with this 1994 Hoops Dennis Rodman, card number 448. This was a BGS9, and it sold for the minimum of $6. We're headed to the 1990 Hoops basketball set at number 39 with David Robinson's Rookie of the Year, card number 270. This was an SGC 8.5 and it also sold for $6 even. Up next at number 38 is this 1987 Fleer Sam Perkins, card number 84. This was a PSA 7, and it also sold for the minimum of $6. We get our first rookie card to make today's list at number 37, with this 1994 Upper Deck Jason Kidd Rookie, card number 160. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $7.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for Jason Kidd at number 36 with his 1994 Collector's Choice Silver Signature Rookie, card number 250. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $7.20. Up next at number 35, is this 1993 Upper Deck Penny Hardaway Rookie, card number 484. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $7.20. Make that back-to-back -back Penny Hardaway Rookies from the 1993 Upper Deck Basketball set at number 34, this time with his rookie with card number 382. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for $7.20. Up next at number 33 is this 1988 Fleer Patrick Ewing All-Star, card number 130. This was an SGC 8.5, and it sold for $7.20. We're sticking to the 1988 Fleer basketball set at number 32, this time with Charles Barkley's base card with card number 85. This was a PSA 6 and it also sold for $7.20. Coming in at number 31 is this 1989 Hoops Steve Kerr rookie Card number 351. This rookie was in a PSA 8 and it sold for $8.40. And kicking off the top 30 of today's list is this 1994 Topps Own the Game score Shaquille O'Neal. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $9.60. Up next at number 29 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team John Stockton, card number 11. This insert was ungraded but authenticated by NBA 
and it sold for $9.60. We get our first Shaq rookie at number 28 with this 1992 Ultra Rookie card number 328. This was a PSA 8 and it also sold for $9.60. Up next at number 27 is this 1990 Skybox Scotty Pippen card number 46. This was a PSA 9, and it also sold for just short of $10. Coming in at number 26 is this 1992 Upper Deck McDonald Shack Rookie, card number P43. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $10.80. Up next at number 25 is this 1988 Fleer Hakeem Olajuwon All-Star, card number 126. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $10.80. The Human Highlight Film makes his first appearance on today's list at number 24 with this 1988 Fleer Dominique Wilkins All-Star, card number 125. This was a PSA 8, and it also sold for $10.80. Up next at number 23 is this 1992 Upper Deck Trade Card Shack Rookie, card number 1B. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $13.20. Scotty Pippen makes another appearance on today's list at number 22 with his 1994 Fleer Total D, card number 7. This insert was in a PSA 9, and it sold for $16.80. Up next at number 21 is this 1988 Panini Spanish Sticker Larry Bird, sticker number 8. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $19.20. And David Robinson makes another appearance on today's list to kick off the top 20 with his 1989 Hoops Rookie, card number 138. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $24 even. We're back to the 1988 Fleer Basketball set at number 19, this time with Reggie Miller's Rookie card with card number 57. This was a PSA 8, and it also sold for $24 even. Up next at number 18 is this 1989 Hoops Dennis Rodman, card number 211. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $26.40. Coming in at number 17 is this 1988 Fleer Scotty Pippen Rookie, card number 20. This rookie card was ungraded but authenticated by NBA and it sold for $28.80. We get another Penny Hardaway Rookie at number 16 with his 1993 Upper Deck Die Cut All-Stars Rookie, card number E12. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $30 even.
We welcome a newcomer to today's list at number 15. With this 1993 finest Chris Webber rookie, card number 212. This was a BGS Gem Mint 9.5, and it also sold for $30 even. Up next at number 14 is this 1992 Ultra Rejector Shack Rookie, card number 4. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $31.20. Coming in at number 13 is this 1991 Hoops John Starks, card number 406. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $32.40. Up next at number 12 is this 1994 Skybox Emotion Excited Grant Hill Rookie, card number 4. This rookie was in a PSA 10, and it sold for $36 even. Make that back-to-back -back Grant Hill rookies at number 11 with his 1994 Flair Wave of the Future rookie, card number 2. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $37.20. And the Worms back to kick off the top 10 with this 1988 Fleer Dennis Rodman rookie, card number 43. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $38.40. Up next at number 9 is this 1990 Fleer Dennis Rodman Auto, card number 59. This autograph was authenticated by Beckett, and it sold for just over $40. Charles Barkley makes another appearance on today's list at number 8, with his 1990 Fleer base card with card number 139. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $44.40. Up next at number 7 is this 1989 Hoops David Robinson Rookie, card number 310. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for just over $50. Coming in at number 6 is this 1987 Fleer Charles Barkley Sticker, sticker number 6. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $67.20. And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1991 Skybox featuring Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, card number 462. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $86.40. Up next at number 4 is this 1991 Skybox Michael Jordan vs. Magic Johnson, card number 333. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $126. Coming in at number 3 is this 1994 Finest Shack Refractor, card number 32. This was the refractor with the protective coating in a PSA 8, and it sold for $150. Up next at number 2 is this 1992 Hoop Shack Rookie, card number 442. This rookie was in a SGC gold-labeled pristine 10, 
and it sold for $222. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1988 Fleer John Stockton rookie, card number 115. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $444. I look forward to hearing your guys' feedback on today's video in the comment section below. And I will also have the Michael Jordan exclusive list from this auction out later this week. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.